One of the terribly important things about studying nature is that it enables us to understand the principles that allow us to understand ourselves. We're standing here in Whiteham Woods, just outside Oxford. The, the name Whiteham Woods will resound with anybody who has a background in animal ecology because it was here in the 1930s and 40s that a wonderful Oxford ecologist, Charles Elton, more or less invented the subject of ecology. And I thought, how could all this new knowledge, this new understanding of nature, be used not just to be fascinating, but to help us solve environmental problems. And so I was in the amazingly challenging but fortunate position to establish in Oxford a research fellowship in wildlife conservation. It came to fruition in 1986, the first university-based wildlife conservation research job in the world. And that was the creation of the Wildlife Conservation Research Unit, the wild crew which I now direct. An institution that has empowered, educated, informed, influenced more than a hundred graduate students, thousands of conservation biologists, and now we can see millions of people in the wider public. And we've gone on from then to build this institution to deliver practical conservation solutions around the world, all working together for a common cause to deliver the Wild Crew's mission of evidence-based conservation policy, solving practical problems with the world-class science. You might expect somebody who spent a lifetime with nature working on conservation to major in the stories now on the rough and the tough stuff and I've done a bit of that. I've uh, toppled a canoe in the Amazon, I've uh, been arrested a couple of times actually in the Orinoco. I remember rolling a jeep down a hill rather painfully in Borneo. I was shot at in Kashmir. That rough, tough stuff is good, and it was fun, and it's led to scientific discoveries that have made a difference. But it's not where the future lies. Where the future lies in taking all of the achievements in conservation, which have created the most wonderful medical kit to intervene when there's a conflict between people and wildlife. But to say that a medical kit by itself is not what a doctor needs. What a doctor needs is to use that medical kit within a wider health service, a framework, a framework which will decide how does humanity in the 21st century wish to live alongside wildlife and the environment. And the answer is about an interdisciplinarity that engages every aspect of what we do and which leads to conservation-led development for the developing world. That is where the future lies. I'm David MacDonald. This is a story about conservation, about the wild crew, and perhaps most of all, about a way of doing things.